Annyeong! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to make Korean kimbap. Kimbap is made by rolling a variety of ingredients and rice in a sheet of kim, a uh, tossy flavor. Kimbap is easy to eat everywhere, so it's a symbol of lunchbox for a picnic. Whenever I went on a field trip in elementary school, my mother packed kimbap. The interesting thing was, every kimbap my friends brought had different ingredients and looks. Some kimbap had tuna, while others had kimchi or ham. Like this, you can make the kimbap with ingredients what you want or what you have. It's pretty fun to make kimbap in different flavors and looks. Okay, then let's set the table. First, prepare the cooked rice. While the rice is hot, mix with salt, sesame oil, and vinegar. And wrap it to make not too dry. Let's prepare for the pillars. I prepared the spinach, carrots, eggs, and pickled radish. Prepare the washed spinach and blanch for 40 seconds. Wash in cold water and squeeze with hands. In a bowl, put spinach, salt, sesame oil, and minced garlic. Toss it with hands. Next, beat the egg with a pinch of salt. Fry on a lightly greased skillet over low heat. Let it cool and roll up the egg and cut into thin slices. Cut the carrot into fine julienne strips. The oil over medium-high heat and stir-fry carrots. Season with salt. When it's done, let them cool. I bought the pickled radish which is cut for gimbap. But if you can find only thick pickled radish, then cut the thick pickled radish into length of the laver and add the thickness of a pencil. Okay, then preparation is over. Let's roll the gimbap. There are both sides of tasty liver. One is shiny and the other is rough. So place the shiny side down on the mat. Ah, and if you don't have this kind of mat, don't worry. You can make it by your hand, of course. Put a cup of seasoned rice in the center of the tasty liver. Spread the rice evenly and thinly over the bottom three quarters of the liver. And then place the ingredients. Roll the mat forward towards the non-rice covered end. While you roll, press firmly to shape the roll. I'm going to put sliced cheese in the next one. Place the cheese on the bottom and arrange other ingredients. Then 
and roll it. When you finish, coat gimpa with sesame oil. And grease the knife with sesame oil, then cut the gimpa into bite-sized pieces. I made the gimpa mountain. The smell is so savory. Let's eat. Mm. I can feel each ingredient's flavor and it mixes well. Carrots and pickled radish are crunch but egg is very soft and fluffy like a cloud. And spinach gives a freshness. Okay, then let's try cheese kimbap. Mm. Wow, this one is good too. Actually, cheese kimbap goes well with hot and spicy soup like Korean ramen. Dip cheese kimbap into ramen soup and eat. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Cheese is melting in my mouth and it really goes well with spicy taste. Mm. Okay, let's try one more. Today I made kimbap. You can make it easily at home. If you like this recipe, then thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find more recipes for Korean cuisine. See you next time. Bye. 안녕.